Fluid art combines paint, technique, science, and a little bit of magic. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this area appears blue and black, but guess what? It's not. We're going to have some fun today, but before we do, let's tighten the back of our canvas. Just sprint a little bit of water. Thank you for 16,000 subbies. And we are going to make this thing sound like a drum. That's the sound we need. All right, friends, we're playing with primary colors today. I've added an additional, um, our light blue permanent, and this is actually gonna create some crazy contrast for you. Um, so I'm gonna show you the power of just red, yellow, and blue. All right, my ratio is listed three to one. Uh, I'll sh mm. American Flow Straw to paint. Now, this consistency is a little bit thinner than you are probably used to me doing, and that is because I'm using a student grade acrylic. Okay, my Blake Acrylic student grade paint. Also, no clouds today. Okay, so this is just straight paint and flow trial, very easy to follow. Um, and I just want to show you the magic of black. And I will tell you, using the student grade acrylics, I don't know if they're transparent, opaque, semi-transparent because it doesn't tell us on the bottle, but having less of that concentration of pigment allows the other colors to show through. So as we build this cup and pour it out, you're going to see some of the most beautiful gradient changes. And I'm glad that I can bring it to you, baby. So be back in just a moment. Just enjoy the show. See how I layer my cup. See how I pour it out. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. <laughs> All right, so this layer of light blue permanent that I'm adding is Master's Touch brand. This is going to be a higher, more pigmented uh, paint. So you're going to see how it looks different from all the rest of our paints. And adding that touch and that contrast of light and dark is just going to blow your mind, I promise.
please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. At the beginning of the video, I told you to look at the blue and the black and watch how magic just simply appears. I want you to also pay attention to the light blue permanent and how prominent it becomes with that contrast in just a few seconds. So keep those eyeballs glued to the screen. Don't fast forward, baby. The video is free and you watching it earns me a few little pennies. But here we go, baby. <laughs> We're running it off the edge and boom. Wow. Just like magic, baby. Now watch that blue. It's going to become more pronounced and it creates this amazing color contrast. So I had so much paint on my canvas that I didn't need a flow extender, which is typically what I do. Um, but in the second painting, yes, this is a 2-4 video, um, I will use the same colors. I'm going to add an additional color and we are going to use um, flow extender and spin it out. Okay, so look at that, y'all. All right, we're about to take this off the edge and we're going to lose that black, but that is okay because what we are about to uncover is just simply stunning. Look at those colors and those gradient changes, that beautiful red, yellow, and blue mixing together, creating what looks like fire and a gorgeous sunset. So we're going to go off the other end and look at that light blue, y'all. The light blue is mixing with my um, primary blue color. Remember that light blue permanent is of a higher quality. So it has a higher pigment load. That's my master's touch. And you can just see how it is just playing so wonderfully with my other colors. Um, it is an opaque. Um, and so I just... I just can't stop looking at this one. Um, I really like it. Now the top, I have a little goober. So I am going to have to perform some surgery. Yes, you may not have known, but I am a part-time surgeon. Paint surgeon, that is. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You, did you ever find the tweezers? Um, so I didn't have all my necessary tools for surgery, but uh, we made it work. All right, so later I'll go in and add a few little stitches, a little more paint little dab, a little dibble, and we'll be all good. So, friends, I'm bringing you in for a close-up and look uh, there. This is the final result, and, of course, it dried well. Dried a little bit darker. Um, that's going to happen when you have your lighter colors, especially when they are not opaque. But the beauty is still there, and as promised, here is a second video for you. So... I'm using the same colors, but this time I'm spinning, and I'm actually going to add a diox purple to the mix. You'll see that in just a moment. Then I have some leftover light blue permanent paint and a little bit of something else. So I made a light violet color to add to the mix. So just sit back and enjoy this one. I'm going to spin it out, uh, but I still want you to take note of how the black reacts against the blues and the um the lighter purple color which is also made with the permanent blue violet it gives some really crazy painting effects so i just want to um, encourage you to experiment and play around i'm trying to set the foundation um you may have seen a lot of my experiment videos recently if you haven't they are linked below but you know i'm just wanting to encourage you to have fun enjoy this ride and experience of fluid art whether you're a beginner or an expert you have to enjoy the ride and understand that everything won't come out perfect i know a lot of artists make this look so easy but it's not 
And I say that all in love, but yeah, you have to put the time and effort in to understand how these paints work and how they work for you. So I'm going to end my rant here, but enjoy the rest and I'll be back momentarily. I'm really loving how this is coming out. So I'm going to adjust and play with my composition a bit. I want to make sure that my corners are covered, but also that I have removed enough paint off of my canvas to make sure that it dries well. There is quite a bit of white here, but with the amount of darkness and, you know, the blacks and the blues and the purples that we have, it actually is pretty balanced, um, in my opinion. 
And so just a little more spinning here. A little more tilting. <laughs> Now, if we go back, oh, just a couple minutes in the video, you may remember that all of that blue section was black. Um, let's, let's go back and take a look. All of that blue section was black. And if you look closely, you can see that blue was just starting to peek through. But check how we just opened it up and really changed the entire look of the piece. So here is my close up. One of my favorite parts of all of my videos. Just showing you the contrast and look at those gorgeous rings. Um, and I love that black. It's just so majestic and adds a really nice flair to this piece. Um, family, remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Peace.